All right, back with Resident Evil uh, remake or remastered HD. This is on the X Bone, and really enjoying this so far. Um, looking forward to. I, we've got a horror game coming out today on Steam, which I'm trying to think of the name of. And then on the 23rd, there's Stranded Deep, which looks like it's going to be really fun. I like survival games, and this one takes place on an island. Most survival games, kind of. From my experience, are kind of only the only kind of survival games that are out there involve zombies of some type. This one's on an island, kind of, you know, which I think is pretty cool concept in my book. So I'm, I'm, that's a crimson head. Uh huh. Sure. Okay, so let's examine. So now we have the armor key. I remember that puzzle got me very early on when I first started playing this game back in 02 or whatever. Because I didn't really know about, you know wasn't, I guess, of the right mindset for this game at that age. Okay, I do believe the Crimson Head is going to be around, but we've got ammo! head up. Sweet! Lucky me, lucky me! What do we got here? Let's combine. I don't think I'm... Okay. Huh. You know, fun fact, Resident Evil 4 is actually just tank controls with a different camera angle. Fun fact. So, we'll go ahead and combine. That's going to turn into a crimson head later, unfortunately. Because of my idiocy. Check the map here. Uh... Because of my idiocy. You gotta give them credit. They make the enemies, uh... You know, they matter. The enemies matter in this game. Oh, it's a shame they don't have really... I don't know. You think they could release just like a little experimental Resident Evil like this every now and then, you know? Something that doesn't exactly cost them, you know, however expensive the Resident Evil games are nowadays. Which I imagine is very, you know, very high. But, you know... It'd be nice if they just decided, hey, let's make a smaller scale one with... Then again, Revelations 2 looks like it might be that. I'm looking forward to it. It also apparently takes place between Resident Evil 5 and 6. It's in that ballpark. 
don't see why they didn't just go. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I think we can unlock this door. No. Hmm. I do wish, one thing I wish they'd change, or at least update, is having, I guess you could say, better movement controls with the camera, I guess. I don't know. That's one. That's the one thing that's really dated this game, in my opinion. gonna take these and we're gonna go put the grenade launcher and stuff back this is actually pretty tense all things considered See, now we don't have to deal with Forrest ever again. You know, because we killed him. Or, didn't kill him, ran away. Ran away screaming. That's what I meant. That is what I meant. We'll go ahead and put this stuff up. Even if we get a crimson head, you know, we'll be able to at least take care of it. Because we've got ammo. Yeah, I know. I keep checking the map. It's I've always done that with games like this. I always check the map because I get very easily lost with my directions. Yeah, it just happens. Huh, you're not a crimson head yet. I should probably burn you, actually. I think I'll go do that. I'll go save and go burn the body. I think the one downstairs will turn into a crimson head too. Ooh, I don't have enough. Well, at the very least. Might as well use the ink ribbons if you got them. Alright, let's go ahead and put our ink ribbons up. We need to go upstairs to dining hall. Uh, I can't think. I think we're supposed to do a puzzle before we talk to one of the stars members, Richard, who 
kind of annoys me, or at least one of his, the cutscene we're going to see him in. We have to get a serum for him because he got attacked by Yawn, who, we'll be encountering, who we, we will be encountering much later in the game. Yawn is a... I, I don't understand how he got attacked by Yawn and lived. Yawn, as we'll see later, is absolutely colossal. It's a giant snake of horrific proportions because, you know, Umbrella's run by a bunch of morons and decided, hey, we should we should focus our time and effort on creating giant things and no one in the PR department thought that was a really stupid idea. So we've got giant spiders and snakes and we have sharks in the basement. Uh, we have giant lizard things. We have giant plants. We have, of course, the undead hordes, mutated zombies, a mutated undying thing, which they'll get another virus from later on. Don't you worry about that. And it's just astonishing the incompetence that has gone on an umbrella. It is just astonishing, in my personal viewpoint, as a fan of the series, as someone that's went through all of the Resident Evil games, with the exception of Resident Evil Gaiden. That is my one exception, so. Okay, so we need to, hmm. That push in place? Not gonna okay, give it a good two. Still never understand why they decided to make a mansion full of traps. Examine it, not use. Need to get this all straightened out. Uh, I think this is the puzzle. Ooh, death mask. Hear, speak, and smell no evil. Okay. Works for me! Richard! What happened? You're wounded! This whole place is a killing zone. There are monsters. What did this to you? A big snake. And it had to be poisonous. Poisonous? Richard, hold on. Bring me serum. I saw some, but didn't bring any. I'll go and get it, okay? You're gonna make it. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> 